everyone, this is Joey from Main Street USA Studios. We've got all the Disneyland news for you coming up next. This week at the Disneyland Resort, massive ride closures subside, Halloween update, pumpkin spice, holiday reservations, blackout dates, Tiana's Bayou opening, hotel discounts, construction updates, and more. For some good news, the high number of ride closures at Disneyland is finally starting to decrease. Disneyland had experienced numerous ride closures beginning early last summer. At one point, all of Critter Country was shut down, including its rides, shops, and the walkway that connected Critter Country to Galaxy's Edge. Not to mention the Haunted Mansion had a lengthy closure and Space Mountain also closed at the end of summer for a few weeks. Currently, the Disneyland Railroad remains under an extended closure. However, now we're happy to report that the closures are starting to return to a more regular schedule, with just a few closures at a time. Once Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens on November 15th, all of the park's e-ticket attractions will be available at the same time, barring any unplanned ride maintenance or breakdowns, of course. While the closures have led to positive results like Splash Mountain becoming Tiana's Bayou Adventure and upgrades to Haunted Mansion, it was still a significant portion of the park that was closed at one time, and we're happy to be at the end of it. DCA, on the other hand, has been almost fully operational throughout the summer and into September. World of Color 1 had had a long closure, but all of the e-ticket attractions have been open. Halloween is in full swing at the Disneyland Resort. In fact, it is more than halfway through. You still have until October 31st to enjoy all the festive fun, though. And if you're wondering whether Disney has your pumpkin spice cravings covered this fall, the answer is a resounding yes. Check out this list of all your pumpkin-flavored options across the resort. Like at Jolly Holiday, Jolly Holiday is always a great place to find lots of limited holiday treats. They have a new jack-o'-lantern Mickey pumpkin macaroon, a pumpkin macaroon shell filled with caramel buttercream with pumpkin cheesecake. They also have a pumpkin muffin topped with cream cheese icing. Galactic Grill has a new pumpkin pie chai tea, iced chai tea topped with a pumpkin pie cream. This one is non-alcoholic. Rancho del Zocla has a new Mickey-shaped pumpkin, salted dolce cream puff filled with pumpkin mousse and salted dolce de leche. Red Rose Tavern has a new enchanted pumpkin stuff, like the gray stuff, a pumpkin mousse with pumpkin cake and apricot marmalade center topped with green sprinkles, silver stars, chocolate branch, and leaves, and a new non-alcoholic pumpkin cheesecake tavern cold brew. Royal Street Veranda is ready for fall with both the returning pumpkin spice fritters Warm pumpkin spice fritters served with a cream cheese dipping sauce and a new non-alcoholic pumpkin king cold brew. Blue Bayou has a new pumpkin swirl cheesecake with spice on glaze, chocolate crumb, and pecan twill. Over in DCA at Aunt Casa's Cafe, there's a new pumpkin bunt cake, a pumpkin cake drizzled with dolce de leche and topped with cream cheese frosting. The Lamplight Lounge has some new pumpkin spice latte donuts. Willie's Churros in DCA has a pumpkin spice churro drizzled with cream cheese icing and topped with graham cracker cereal. And there's even a gingerbread pumpkin cookie at the Halloween treat cart inside the lobby of the Grand Californian Hotel. Remember that really soon after Halloween season ends, the holiday season starts on November 15th and runs through January 6th. The holiday season is always a busy time, but this year we are expecting it to be even more so. Remember that Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens on November 15th as well. Based on the response at Walt Disney World, this could significantly increase crowds at the park. Inspire Key reservations are already sold out at both parks for November 15th, and single-day tickets are currently still available, but are high priced. Remember that single-day tickets are on a tiered system. The holidays at Disney are really magical. Our advice is to get your reservations as soon as possible. This is going to be an extra popular year. And if you will be planning a stay during the beginning of the holiday season or the end of the Halloween season, Disney is offering an on-property hotel discount on Sunday to Thursday night stays from October 20th through December 19th. Guests can save up to 15%. This offer is valid at the Disneyland Hotel, the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel, and at the Grand Californian Hotel. Interestingly, the discount does not extend to Pixar Police Hotel. It also doesn't include weekend stays, however, this is a great opportunity to stay at the hotels while they are decorated for the holiday season. In closure and construction updates, starting in Disneyland Park, Critter Country is open. Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens in a month and a half on November 15th. Hunger Bear Barbecue Jamboree still does not have an opening date. 
The Haunted Mansion queue and store are still underway. Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is closed until 2025. However, this Tuesday, the Disney Gallery, the lobby area in front of the Opera House, will reopen. The Disneyland Railroad remains closed with no reopening date through early November so far. It's a Small World remains closed, likely through November 15th. The Jungle Cruise reopens this week on Friday, October 4th. Meet Tinkerbell and Pixie Hollow, the character Meet and Greet, is closed and reopens October 15th. And then Dumbo the Flying Elephant will be closed this Tuesday, October 1st, just for one day. Over in DCA, World of Color 1 remains closed with no reopening date. And new this week, The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure closes November 4th with no reopening date yet. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.